children they are our legacy they, they will represent us years after we have left whatever we have imparted into them i'm interested in how you have managed to raise up godly children you know um well, did you have a family also did you take them through the time did you ensure they went with you to church was there any time they were rebellious they have to deal with how did you my or was it just prayers and fasting because i look at mommy as a woman of fasting <laughs> <laughs> i think the family altar was very very important mm. this is our upbringing mm. there's no doubt about that in fact she's she's the she's the prayer warrior i mean i do pray those that when the, by the time I start my own prayer warrior or warfare prayer, I get and she knows that uh, things are going to, to happen. Not that I don't pray, but you know women now, they are very, very <laughs> emotional and all of that. But really we had family altar and to me it should not be compromised. Mm. All our children learn to speak English first by reading the Bible for us in the morning devotion. Even in the primary school, that's where they pick and they start reading the Bible and they knew how to pray and, and of course they went to church with her. She she when we were in Ife, you know, we, you know, she was she would be leading chorus and putting the kids in front. And all of them grew up to be very strong members of the choir, mm. you know, and the very lovely voices. My first my first daughter, you know, that chorus is she had natural auto, just pick any song, she would just start her auto straight away. And you know, even those things. Those had a lot of way with youth in the church. So we open our houses for them to, to be what they want to be. Mm. And uh, and the Lord was very, very helpful to us. And one of the things that I I think I, I, I love most was that I miss my parents, but I gave as much as I needed to give to my children. I went to say we were, we were in England. It was difficult having children yeah. as a student. Mm. Yeah. But I was able to pay for their school fees in this daycare because they didn't, the white right people said, if you have any student that is married, they believe that as a student you ought not to have been married. So why will be? So they didn't give us any kind of rebate concession. or concession. I, I mean, in Edinburgh, <clears throat> I had two of them in Nestle. You will pay almost like 54 pounds of 58 pounds per week. But God provided the money. I may not have any leftover. But for me, I was ready to sell my trouser for them to, because some of Nigeria just foster their children, you know, they say, you know, we never, we slept in the same room and make sure that nobody is putting anything in their brain that we will not like. Mm. So we, you know, for me, we, we love them. We did things with them. Mm. And... Between me and my wife, we, we do not share household chores. Mm. One of the things that uh, my, when we first landed in, uh, in 1982, my father-in-law came to us, and uh, my wife was preparing uh, amala. And of course, for me and her and the children, it was not much of amala. She had to be, no, Mama has come, Papa has come, so the amala is the food. <laughs> so she was just doing it. Ah, come on, this thing is overpowering my power. And I said, okay. I went there and the pam, 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 pam. Papa was, Papa was so impressed. And then I just, you don't understand. So the issue is that they saw all done things for them. And even though I said I disciplined them, I don't discipline them without doing my own research. Like, one, you know, I'm, I'm very strong in the area of academic being a professor. So I didn't want them. Okay, one of my one of them was not liking maths. Hey, <laughs> if you don't like maths, you will not be in science today. <laughs> over twenty, one over eleven. I, I, I thought the world is 
What am I? Yeah, there's not enough time to do the work. This teacher must be very. I still don't understand. I want to go and speak to the teacher. Why is it that you will not? She will do four out of ten sums. Get four over ten. The remaining six was not done. Mm. Do twelve sums. She will do one eleven, not one over twelve. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So one day she went to the women's fellowship on a Friday. And uh, it was my I, I had to wash their clothes. Please can you say that loud, sir? So, <laughs> that's <laughs> America, yeah? I, I had to wash the clothes of my children. She, she went to the women's fellowship. I mean it, it, it doesn't it doesn't deserve from it to you to help your wife. Mm. She's your sister. Yeah. So now when I saw the school gown, the side pocket. Of one that is getting one over twelve. Mm. I won't mention her name. <laughs> <laughs> it was filled with crumbs of biscuits. Crucial. Oh I said, oh. There is a perfect correlation between bad performance and crumbs of biscuits. Biscuit. <laughs> so now when they asked them to do some, the biscuit left her house in sachets. But I ended up in, in her pockets in so crumbs. <laughs> so when they had them to do some, she's eating biscuits. That was where my problem is. So I called her. How does this thing live here and end up? Oh, when they asked me to do 10 sums, because you didn't want the teacher to know that you are eating, you bury your. I mean, we are all kids, I've done it. Yes. So you'll be. Eating. I see. Normally, when you give kids food, she will hold her own. After you finish your own hand, you'll be eating and your appetite again starts <laughs> Then I beat her very well. See now, let me tell you one thing. One secret of success in school. Whatsoever your teacher says you should do, be the person that does it most. Post. They ask you to sleep, sleep. They ask you to work, work. And then they ask you to even sing or laugh, don't do. But if you don't do it at that time, you are doing every other thing wrong. So she went. Following Monday, she came back. 11 over. Wow. <laughs> Means only one sub. Wow. I said, okay. We'll review. And what I will review. But you know, you forgot your career. Now let's see. Did we find anybody that got 12 over 20? All the people that got 12 over 20 because they were boys. Okay, you are fair in The one that got it, they were black. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Know that only the best thing for us in the world. Mm. You know that time? That was the only time I had to tell her about hard work. That was primary three. Because mm. she ended up in the university and, in, you know, was translated from BSc to M to MA, MSc. She didn't take BSc degree, but she got MSc, chemical engineering. Wow. When she said, I got a master's, I said, where's your BSc? She said, well, you can see. The <laughs> name is Bob Lynch as MSc, chemical engineering. Because 12 of them were in first class in second year. They said, oh, we have not seen a class that they had to go and take an MSc and work for one year and come back for master. Wow. That's how it happened with wow. me. But she got 100% in first subject in that time. Wow. After the correction. Mm. To God be the glory. Amen. Dr. Singh, any question? Yes, I, I okay. do. No, I, I, I'm, I'm just trying to understand, okay, how you, you had commitment ministries, you've had commitment with job, mm. and then the family is there. Mm. And I know that that he has requirement. He needs time. He needs your time. So how have you been able to manage your time with job, your time with ministry, and your time at home? Thank you. Um, he is professional. I'm also professional. And when the two big girls left for the UK, I still had these two others to cope with. So I ensured that we got a school when we moved from Ife to Lagos that was close enough, a private school, to my place of work. So when I'm coming in the morning, they came with me. I dropped them and then went to my work. When it is time to close from work, I'll send one of my staff 
to go and pick them and bring them to work. While they are coming, they buy their snacks, which they can eat while I'm still working. Once I finish, we go home together. Weekends, we go places together. If you are doing a wedding and you say children are not welcome, we won't be there because we can't leave our children with the house help. And that's the yeah. only time we didn't even have. We, yeah. the, that's yeah, the only amazing. time we can be together and bond together. So we did everything. And like I always tell women generally now, young ones, you go to work, your children are sleeping. You come back from work, your children are sleeping. You are not finding out what happened during the day because the house girl will not tell you the truth of the matter unless you have CCTV from which you can secretly find out what is happening. And because we were close, they did not have secrets that they kept to themselves. And we were not two-faced. Once we say this, it's yes. what we do. It's what they say. And we tell them, be yourself. Don't be any other person. Then when we really went into our own ministry, which God gave us insight into, the children were all of them in the university. But when it comes to church activities, like I tell women again, on Sundays, they'll come to church. When church is finished, They'll be rehearsing as choir people. The house help will go with the children home, cook for them, take care of them. Maybe they will be asleep by the time they get home. If you don't spare time for your children, you will get the result of neglected children. And that will not work the righteousness of God. Let people be able to see the Christ you profess and confess made manifest in your children. Because some, some of these are children, they are clever. Once they know mommy and daddy, they are not in agreement on anything or concerning them. They'll just be doing their own and be playing games underneath. So you have to be able to see into them. And you can't see into them when you don't spend time with them. So that is important. Then, because he, he is involved with a lot of traveling. I'm, I was also involved with a lot of traveling within and outside the country. We agreed that when there is a situation where both of us will have to travel together for whatever reason, one must say no so that the other one can go and the other one will be with the children. So there was never a time our children were left uncared or uncatered for. And more room was given to him as a professional man to go about his work and go about his business. Anyway, if he does that, he brings more money that we <laughs> needed for the house than I would have. So it wasn't a difficult... It wasn't a difficult... It wasn't... Mommy, we talk to us about that one it before we go. It wasn't a difficult decision to take because he can write a page of uh, paper and he will get his school minions coming in yeah. from it. But I can work on an account for three months, four months, and you are still debating and uh, dilating and dissecting and everything. So one has to just know that as the woman, as as the woman in the home, you should be willing and ready to sacrifice mm. and let go. Because it's not everything that shines that is gold. Mm. And when you know that your children will have to carry the image of the Lord Jesus Christ, mm. then so into their lives, what will enable them to hoose out mm. the goodness of God Amen. in their lives? And that, is, that was what I decided. I had a good job. I rose to the position of assistant director. And I, 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 I could sit back and say, uh, cook, go and cook. And uh, you go to the market. But I didn't. 
There was a, a, a weekend, the cars were there. I told my boy and my girl, the last two, I said, we're going to Yaba today. They said, what are we going to do? I said, we're going to see what Tejo show is like. They were very excited. They were very happy. Then I drove the vehicle to the end of the estate and I parked. They said, well, we're going to Yaba. I said, yes, we're going in the bus. Deliberate. They said, going in the bus. I said, yes. They said, oh, mommy. I said, look, life is not a bed of roses. Yeah. You have to learn to know that it is a privilege mm. that has made you to be who you are and be born into this family. Mm. But there may be times where you have to face life as it happens. Mm. So we went to Yaba. I bought um, Dodo. Um, uh, I bought um, this um, plantain. plantain. We packed it. We carried this. We carried that. Mommy, oh, we will carry. I said, we will carry you. Mm. Because we are doing an experiment. Mm. Then when I'm going with them and I see um, these people who push truck with mm. rubbish, I'll tell them, some it may be because they didn't have the opportunity. But some had the opportunity. They blew it. And so they are doing what they are doing. You have the opportunity. Please make the best of it. Don't blow it. When our third girl was doing like this, like this academically, I told her, I said, look, we live in VGC, good. But I'm telling you, if you fail your school set, we don't use money to buy uh, results. Neither will we go and make arrange for you to do any. I will go and sew for you a um, uniform for sewing school. Mm. And I will go and put you in a jar where you will go home and cook for your girl. You will wash the clothes of your girl <laughs> and her children. You will do this. You will do. She said, ah, Mommy, will you do that? You want to kill me? I said, No, I won't kill you. It's you who wants to kill yourself. Because we can't be spending on you and you will be taking it for granted. So if you fail for any reason, your school starts, you will go and learn how to sew. You will go and learn to do braiding. And you will be there, not in VGC complex. I will take you to Aja so that you will go and do boy boy work for yoga. She sat up. She sat up and she came with good grades. If we don't teach them to know that life is not a bed of roses, if we don't teach them to know that they have to work to make it, they may be believing that, ah, my, my, my daddy has five million in the bank. Uh, my, my, we have a house in, if everything goes the way I'm expecting, I will inherit everything. And so I don't have to struggle. And we have many, my dear, my dear people, in, 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 amongst the area boys that have parents that are unbelievably and stinkingly rich. Some are commissioners. Some of their parents, they are, fine, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are people who matter in society. A boy told a minister of Foursquare that was around CMS, said, you want to know my parents? The man said, yes. He said, okay. I will organize for him to come. I will tell him to meet me in your church. When the daddy came, the man of God said, he could not believe what he saw. Mm. That this is a respected and respectable man in the society. Mm. Yet his boy was roaming the street mm. and snatching back wow. and breaking that. Ah, that, how oh, did he come to this ogre? Said he, he doesn't know that this boy just decided to be what he is. We had a friend and his junior brother, we knew him. The day the, 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 the area boys came around my car as I was coming, a, a, a going, going home, he looked at me and he said, ah, mommy, ah, oh yeah, all of you, this is the meat we cannot eat. Mm. Let's go. So I now called the brother. I said, what happened to your brother? He said, sister, I did all I could. But he decided to go his own way. And after that, I never saw him. So it's our responsibility, especially we women, 
<laughs> we cannot be everywhere. We cannot be everything. We have to sow into the lives of our children. Even though they are married now, they are married. But I never leave them more. It's not like I go to their home and poke my nose. But when they tell me the situation, I will access it. If I cannot be there physically, which I won't want to be, because there's a tendency I may be partial towards my children than to their husband or whatever, I'll look for somebody that has the mannerism of both the husband and the wife so that they can go and play the mentor, play the big brother and the big sister, and ensure that their lives do not get caputed by any unrighteousness or happenings that are not godly. Because we have to show. A sister was saying when we had a program that uh, once they are married, ah, hallelujah, she's free. I said, free from what? <laughs> Free from what? That is the time to start praying. Mm. Two nations have come together. The way the man was brought up is only known to his parents. The way you brought up your own is only known to you. Now they are coming together to match. It's time to pray so that God will be there for them and the Lord will help us. So it wasn't a difficult thing. Thank and I so had his cooperation yeah, at the initial you. stage. Whatever I cannot do, he will do. Even as I did before yesterday, I went to him and said, darling, do you have a um, uh, malaria tablet? He said, Claude, I said, I feel feverish, that I, I feel tired from the well, little thing we did for his 70th anniversary. He said, let me put on my dress. I'll go and get you. He got up and he went to bring. So let them see the unity. Clap for me now. <laughs> 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 let them see that no matter what no matter how difficult no matter even with tears in your eyes that you are a united force that cannot be penetrated and the Lord will help us very 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 um, we need to be praying for our children definitely I don't know how to say it in many words mm. Your mic, sir. They really want us to be their friends. Mm. And so that other people will not take that friendship from them. Mm. You need to be able to make your children to be able to come boldly and confess. You know, let them bear, be, bear their minds unto you. And you have to understand them. And, um, you know, my best, one of my best children now is one that almost was a bit because she was just talking about it. How do you, when you are faced with a situation that just failure is knocking at the door so strongly, mm -hmm. what do you do? And I, one of my children, you know, was in the school and now Mark Waek came. And she made only one paper out of nine. And Waek is now one month ahead, four weeks. What do you do? I asked my wife, she's the one looking at the certificate. Ah, did she not get uh, promoted? She said she was promoted. What happened? No, she just lost focus. And you need to get them out. Then, when I was talking to her, you got problem. I don't have problem. I have heritage. <laughs> <laughs> at the time we were even talking, I'm not even in mainland here. But we're, we're moving our house into BGC. So you think now we have arrived? Mm. We haven't arrived. You <laughs> might have still having problem paying your school fees. I said, look, hey, you're also a girl. Oh my sure. <laughs> look, it is your heritage we are giving you now, mm. and you want to waste it. Mm. After that, you will not get anyone. Mm. This house doesn't belong to you. Okay. We don't give us to women. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So, therefore, you are not doing it. So, all her life, I've never beaten her. If I want to touch her, she's the one that looks so much like my mom. So, she has a lot of aura of respect around her, you know. If I want to, she will stand in between. The question you are asking is, partiality, you know. 
You stand between us, and I will not be. But this one, I beat her. I told you, the only time I beat her, that was the only time. You were used to say, I'm the only person that has not beaten in this. I'm the only person. She knows that she was so long. Now, what do we do? With that short interview, I knew that she's looking for God. Okay, I don't have to work. I know money is there for me. I've told her now there's no money for you. This exam, you have to pass it. How do you pass? Four weeks. One month too. <laughs> so what we did, or what I did, with our support was to look for seven teachers. Now, so funny enough, there was an experiment for her sister. She was coached for just about one and a half months for GCE, and she made six papers, three A's, and three credits. She was ready to go to university at the end of SS2. So we were looking for that. So one day, my wife was in the car, and all of us, we saw that they were called holiness tutors. It, that, that name was hung on one of the electric posts and along our candy celebrity. I said, please, write the number down. We did. When we called this guy, I said, okay. This guy assumed that she does not know anything, though. I need specialist teachers that can teach math English. So we got seven. I was looking for nine. Because if you're a specialist, you will know your honor. Then I went and I rang one principal in like, well, okay, I need the SS as photocopy all the syllabus. Steady. These are the things you are going to teach. She was taught. Seven to seven. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, she went for SS3 four weeks. She revised the statistics. She got eight subjects and one credit. Now, one of the things is that you have to take some strategic decisions in your life. In the process of this, the teacher wrote us in that same Easter holiday that, okay, we should allow our children to come for uh, extra more and they call it. That, I wrote politely to the principal, I said, well, seeing the result of my daughter, I hereby withdraw her candidature. Because if she went for that kind of coaching, they would say, oh, you, you cannot pass now, psychologically, and yeah. what can you do now? Just four weeks, you already ate a subjects down. So she did not mingle with them. In fact, she did not. For those four weeks, she stood in my house, she was, only when the exam started. Being taught. If she refuses to learn, let me know. I'm going to discipline her myself. But let me be honest with you. We were able to change that situation. Today, she had the best result among all my children. She graduated with first class and the best in the faculty. She got prizes. Somebody who, who could not make four weeks. I said the people should teach her right through, through Neko to Jesus. He got credit all level in the SS White. Neko, she knew that she was going to pass. She didn't even put in any more effort. So Neko came out worse again. I said, ah, they said Neko is simpler than this other one. Now. now you want to be a business manager. You need accountant. And your mother is an accountant too. So, but by the time she was now coached for the GC, it was A, B, A, B, A, B, A. But then she implemented her policy. That because we still don't, we haven't received the result. Straight away she was signed up to go and learn uh, air dresses. Yeah, not, but not in a journey. And, 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 you know, <laughs> and I know. <laughs> but you know, she started in a place where they now ask her to wash the nappy. She never saw nappy, saw nappy in her life. <laughs> it was then she was crying, saying, Mommy, this is too much. We must take her. So we took her out. <laughs> and, but, and, and, and that hairdressing became an asset. Wow. The moment she hit, because she studied in England, the moment she hit, she hit uh, London, the sister came to welcome her. And she just plucked the sister. Say. So the sister went to Newcastle. When she said, Oh, your sister, your hair was so big. Oh, yes, my sister is a hairstylist. She's certificated. Wow. <laughs> And one year is 50 pounds. So wow. She has free pocket money. <laughs> when you get back, she does about four. She mm. has enough money and she really has a hand. She's very, very good. Just like my mom, actually. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so I'm much. Sorry, Thank sir. You so Maybe I could just start something. Mm. Okay. When we had men mm. lecturers coming home mm. 
and we would have gone to work. Mm -hmm. We had to go and bring a trusted relation, a female, to come and stay in. And then we told them, don't lecture, don't teach her in the house. Mm -hmm. We had it, we have a driveway. So let's her be in the driveway with the teachers. And you lady, stay with them. Don't leave them alone. We don't have to be careless. Because most of the time, carelessness results in our children being rough handled and, and being, things being done to them that they will be threatened never to tell their parents. And so they bear the body. And when your child is, looks a bit withdrawn, it's not a usual self or you does not do, way. you must ask her questions. No matter how she refuses, because people who do wickedness in our days, they will tell them, if you tell anybody, you will die. And so that fear is in them. You must prayerfully get it out so that they'll tell you what exactly happened. And that is why today you find out that even drivers, they rape mm. their august children. Yes. Even my uh, uncles, aunties, mm, nieces mm, that stay and enjoy goodies mm, with mm, the parents, mm -hmm. they do unbelievable things. So we must not be careless, Amen. especially when we realize that these children are gifts from God and we will be accountable unto God concerning them. Thank, thank God for all of them. Thank. God help us, not that we are exceptional, but God help us to be able to raise them like giants. And they're all doing well in their thank, profession. Thank, uh, thank you so much, Sam. Uh, this, is, um, this is more than education. This is more than insightful. This is um, really something else. And I'm sure we'll be, this, this, will, this definitely will go beyond this generation. Because, because we are having it recorded. I'm sure we, any marriage seminar can hold this one. And be sure that they'll be well taught. Um, well, we must begin to round up now, but I want to ask you a question. All right. <clears throat> and that question is very simple because, um, because we're looking at it, we're looking at a perspective that will benefit the majority of people. I want to say what is happening in families. Now, um, I want to ask you, both of you are going to answer that question. Maybe that won't start. Have you ever had occasion where you had to defend your wife? Either before. Was there an occasion where yes. they said, oh, oh, mama, this, 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 this and then you have to stand? Yes, 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 yes. My husband never takes nonsense from his family members. <laughs> when we came back, we went straight to Obafemi Abulowo University because they sponsored him. Well, he was there doing his PhD. And uh, we were in the hotel. And the sisters, when they heard he had come, they just came. And my husband was like, Kill and what? <laughs> but she, where we are in this hotel, is this where you want to stay with us? And when they say anything, he will tell them, Go and tell you, go and tell my wife, whatever she says, we will do. So they ended up realizing that. Even if they want to talk to him in secret, they won't have the opportunity. Or when they have the opportunity, it won't go anywhere. Because he will tell them, Baba, ya won't miss her. And then we will decide and let you know. So they eventually gave up frustrated. Mm -hmm. They will now say, Ejeka kuku lo so yawo. So that he yawo, Abba, that we should go and tell we should go and tell our Yawo so that Yawo will now tell her husband and then we will hear the details. So he never gave me up mm. unto them. Mm. Never. 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 Wow. Wow. never. That's... And I didn't have any problem with in laws. Mm. I, also, I, I behave like Saint too. When I'm within them, I will not talk when they are doing their talk. When they say you are working, our money in Koto Komi Party, so whatever my husband says is okay. But I will listen. When we get to the, to our room, I'll tell him, "This is what we are doing." So don't do anything otherwise. And we cared for them when we needed, like they just did their 
Daddy, mommy, say, final burial rights. You know, in the village, if your old people or young people die and you don't do what you should do, even if it takes 100 years, they will still want you to fulfill that purpose. Mm. So when we did it, I said, okay, we will, these are the things we will need. These are the things we will buy. As I bought for our own, we, we will have the greater crowd. Mm. I bought theirs. Yes. Up to pepper. Mm. Up to rice. Mm. Up to oil. Power, mm. Oil that they will need. Mm. Up to everything. And when we bought our dress, I bought their own. I bought the uncles that matter. He gave me the money. But I have also to persuade him. Let's do it this way. Because what's the essence of us looking gorgeous and they looking unkept or not well or properly dressed? So every time, and Yoruba say, anybody jeepo to jeepo inyo. No, hold on. To jeepo to jeepo inyo. Ko leri eni beshe. Yeah. When you've taken the oil yeah, and the salt and, and the pepper of somebody, it will be difficult for well, that person to be him. able to go and you mm. down. And so we don't we don't trivialize them up to whatever they need, shoe or bag or whatever we give them when they need it. And when we are going home, we buy what we can give them that will make them remember that they have a brother. Mm. And so we never Brush them aside. Mm. We always do our best to uh, care for I, I, them. I, I, I think you've answered the question for the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> there was one thing that uh, they, they felt that, uh, okay, I, the last 18 months of my PhD, she was with one of my niece. Okay, and then she ran away. I wrote that to stay until I come. She ran away to my auntie, my immediate sister, and then they decided to keep her. So I, after I finished my PhD, I came, I went to the village. Then they said they just put me aside that and there is a matter on the ground though, that uh, my wife was uh, was rude to the to uh, mother-in-law. Yaoko, how do you see it? <laughs> mother-in-law, no one. Huh? Mother-in-law, mother-in-law. So it's more girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I had my hand and said, so my mother is still alive. <laughs> I came from that angle. So I said, who is this yeah, for this one? It don't matter to be discussed. I came here with my PAD, I prostrated for a say yes. You and God. My mom had only two of us, all of us are alive. So I prostrated for you as a sign of respect. And this one. But if any of your children is now rude to my wife, ah, Abba, I want him going to come and discuss it. What kind of issue? You people are supposed to be the one apologizing to me that this one is Yaoko and he's not even as old as the least of my wife's sister. So you want my wife to be Kunle Abi or what? So I said, the matter is. Dead. They don't, they don't alive. <laughs> no, and I, she couldn't come back because I wrote her not to leave. So she left. What you should have done as a wise mother was say, ah, you're not coming back. These are people I would have paid as food without any, you know, commitment. That just have been so spontaneous. She missed it. For me, I think they respect my wife. I, I place her in a very place of honor. Even the king in my village respects her. For me, even if I say I want to do waka waka, if I carry any foreign lady to my, they will stone me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the way, the way I honestly, me, I cannot do it. Mm. So they go say, ah, bolo tiri de where you know. <laughs> I mean, the, the testimony, you know, we overcome the evil one by the words of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. So really, they know your standard. In their hands, it's not possible. In, if I take my, my, my the king will, will not even ask my wife not to even kneel down, this kind of respect. 
as he is gotten in a village, and even my two aunties as well. Of course, you know, the issue is that if I was giving my auntie money and my wife is there, they're going to get the money from my hand, not from my own hand. So therefore, you know, I'm, you know, I'm protected. I'm also in, in our, in, on our own side, well, it was difficult initially for me to convince the Jeja people that I'm the rightful person for their daughter. But after I won the battle, then they took me as their sons, and I was really well honored. I love my father-in-law. I love my mother-in-law. She's my mom. In fact, I ate the most beautiful amala, you know, after my mom is no longer, which I'm even telling my wife, you didn't learn this amala. Where, where that? that, that you know. So the point is that, so she really, the, both them, they love, so we didn't have any issue. But even there was one issue that we did, we took with Papa. And we've never really opened up to speak with him. That very day, my wife really loved her parents. And when we got to Lagos, every month, my wife would buy all the provisions. We cook the soup for one month, and I would be driving. And one of these occasions, very precious soup was given. Papa said was angry. The soup was spoiled. And we got there, all kinds of things. I spoke, I said, Papa, thank you very much. My wife was crying, saying, this is not I said, Papa, thank you very much. We will not come here again. Abi, we have done so much good to you. I mean, it's back to sender. Hey, let us say where we are now. And when we went back to Lagos, hey, my mom became very sad. Papa wrote us a very lengthy letter of apology mm. that we have on record. So we get we got to resolve. Not that you know, so that he, in fact, the, when he was dying, we were with him on his dying bed mm. to to tell you the bondage that we had. Really, for me, I don't have any problem on our side. I took the, the you know appearance because I don't even have any of my own as my parents, you know. And you know, my mom just come to be with the Lord even the last. Few days before that time, you know, every month, both of us, both of us, we send out all our provisions, you know, like my mom. Mm. So I is one mom that you know never gave back to me, but gave back to me through through her, her daughter. Mm. I we really love her. In fact, uh, my mom is uh, <coughs> we're looking forward to the day that we will uh, do the final burial. Praise the Lord. Hello, we're not in the yeah. complete offer. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the I'm Lord. The <laughs> I'm the <president> of <laughs> yeah, we, we'll be hitting two hours in another two or three minutes. Um, I want to, I want to see how we can round this up in exactly two hours. Um, Sister Tosin, I hope you don't mind. I'm sure you still have lots of questions, but no, no, just like a few recap, just a few things that uh, I talked about. Uh, okay, yeah, you can, you do that now. Um. Well, it's okay. Um, I would have just loved to ask, final, finally, All right. okay, two questions in ah. one. <laughs> two questions in one. And I want, so I, I, and I want, you I want. tell me this, though. <laughs> I'm going to tell you my price. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I want the answer in one minute. Right. I don't know how you're going to do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she spoke about friends. You know, I see homes that have been damaged by friends. External influences. Not even in-laws now. But oh. Wrong companies. Yes. I don't know how you survived it. And that's one. Two is, what has been your secret? What is the major secret you can share in one, in one minute? So, I have just two more minutes, then Sister Tosin will carry it up. Well, in terms of friends, who, I have friends who, but... I don't think I have anything to support my own. They may think otherwise. But what is my secret? My secret is that we have stayed in first, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, long suffering, self control, patience. You need all of these in marriage. Uh, marriage is like two puppies playing together. If it's only one puppy that is falling for the other one, the other one is. By teacher. Mm. So, uh, if it is hot today, I will be cool. cool. Uh -huh. If you, if I'm hot tomorrow, she will be cool. 
So that helps. And sometimes when we disagree, uh, we, we will also, but she, she's the one that really would initiate it. She, she said, I don't like to initiate. And I, I am, I think somehow, before I try to offend somebody, I think so much about it. And when I feel that I am not at, it's a bit difficult, but I've learned also to navigate. If you don't say sorry, 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 you will not get passport to go to London. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, great. Sister Tosi wanted to recap. Oh, that daddy has responded. I'm okay. No, no. no. Uh, I, I just want to okay. round it up okay. with this passage that has really helped me. That's Isaiah 30, 15. Quiet it name. says, this is what the sovereign Lord the only one of Israel says, mm -hmm. only in returning to me and resting in me will you be saved. In quietness and confidence is your strength. That has been a passage that dropped in my spirit and has remained with me. And I found out that <coughs> when I talk less, when I react less, when I decide to take it to the Lord in prayers, my peace remains. And I don't get, you know, when you try to prove a point and you can't understand why it's not understanding it the way you are seeing it, you get so worked up, you get to bed and you're like, maybe fire should come down and even and destroy the me immediately. Away. Then, <laughs> but when God gave me this passage, in quietness and in confidence, mm. that be your strength. Mm. I found out that even when it looks as if there is something going to born and run down mm. I was, i'll still be able to keep my quiet i'll still be able to do what is expected of me mm. and at the end of the day the prayers that are prayed and the things that happen thereafter mm. result in being able to resolve without any anybody caving in mm. in the process thank you so much thank you. i want to advise all men that um, <clears throat> look at the way women communicate with their husband. Um, especially when you ask questions. Uh, your wife is answering your questions, but not the one you have asked. She's asking the tenth follow-up question you have not asked. And so, if you think that you can be agreed by what she said, you are wrong. Because at the end of the day, that question is going to be right too, but she's already ahead of you. This is where you are your question will still get to, but you are in my one. She's in my twelve. <laughs> so we have a problem. Because I'm a teacher, so and I, I will just say, oh, I'll just ask the question I ask. This is not the answer to it. I'm going to mark you wrong. Then she quickly come back and say, hey, okay, I don't want you to mark. Because, you know, for example, you know, just say, darling, you know, uh, is my food ready? The answer to all the men's question is either yes or no. My man is not complex, but women are detailedly complex. So you just get back and say, "Can't you see is my food ready? Can't you see?" is the answer. <laughs> see what? That it is not ready, or that it is ready, <laughs> or you know, you know, this, this, you know, and you begin to see that. But you can see that I'm in the kitchen. So, oh, you can't you see that I'm in the kitchen? You know, that you have to begin to fill up. You and if you didn't pull your head, something else could happen. Because really, what crack up marriages are very weird My, things. Mm. Some people just come in, they just paint the city a little bit disorganized. They look at my wife, you are in the house all day. Look at me. And supposing strangers, and there's no stranger there. And you're blowing up your, te your head. For what? God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so Praise much, sir. Lord. Okay, start to in a minute, please. Okay, just quickly. Some of the things we have talked about, now, you must have a conviction. Mm. As in, make up your mind exactly what you want. Mm. It's very paramount. Because these are things that will help you when, when crisis comes. Mm. So you must have a conviction. Now, you must have confidence in God. Mm. Mm. We have talked about confidence in several ways here. Yeah. Mm. Confidence in God. Mm. Having God, like any, no matter how it goes, I must go back 
There's somebody I can always count on. So we must always keep our confidence in God. Now, when we, now we, talk, we can't emphasize, overemphasize prayer. We have seen how prayers have played out in several mm. occasions. Mm. Trying to convince your partner on something, it doesn't seem convinced. Prayers. On the children, prayers. Mm. So on the children, now we also talked about, we have also mentioned having one voice. Mm. For the children must have one voice. Mm. The children must know that they cannot go behind daddy, or they cannot, go be, they cannot stay behind mommy. Honestly, once they know that from what we have said there, they, they will know that nobody will stand behind me if I go and do anything, anything bad. It will come to you. So let me just do the right thing. We must have one voice. We must be a man of our words. Mm. You tell your children, this is what I'm going to do if this happens. Let it be just that. Because that is the living. When mommy talked about her daughter, and I said, I'm going to sew clothes for you. I didn't even know that it would end up saying that it eventually happened. But the reason why she believed in what she said it was because she has been keeping her words in the past. In the past, she was told that if you do this, is what I would do. And he knows that truly, that is what she will do. And that is why she took it seriously that, ah, she's going to bring it to, uh, to, uh, to play. It's going to be live. I better confirm. So we must be more man of our words. We must have one voice. And also, we must actually talk about sex education with our children. Mm. That's, that's another thing we have talked about. Also, we must not neglect the family altar. Mm. So we must have, it is recommended that we don't neglect the family altar. Teach them and be their friends when, when you need to be. That's what I have so far. Then also friends must be careful with friends. Mm. Mm. Most of the people that cause havoc in homes are people that are close by, close friends. Mm. So we must be careful with friends. <coughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Um, um, well, yeah. I want to really appreciate you. Honestly, um, I feel excited. I feel blessed. I feel greatly inspired. I've been married for 23 years. Thank you, sir. And um, I still have learned a lot from your experiences. I wonder one thing you also said, apart from what you have been role models to your children. What you were, you said all the years ago. And I want to thank God for that. I also say that you defend each other, which is a sign of bonding. It's a sign of bonding. And you are truly bonded. And nobody has been able to find a way to go in between two of you. The devil has not been able to find a way. So I really want to thank the Lord for your life, sir. Um, how you have also managed your ministry together with your home. You have sustained it, you know. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I, I want to. I want to really thank God. For your, I want to thank God for mommy. Sorry, sir. <laughs> I want you to really thank God for her, because I, in this meeting, one thing I found out is that there is no place, there is no alternative for depth. Because when a woman has this has the spiritual death, then she's able to understand everything. Even beyond the mind. Like you say women are very complex. But their complexity is made positive in their depth of spiritual life. And that's what she has said. And I want to really thank you, man. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> My prof. I don't know how you manage to manage him. He said, <laughs> oh, well, bro. <laughs> So I want to, <laughs> I want to, I want to thank God, sir, that you honored our invitation. And um, Pastor Femi wants to say one or two things, you know, and uh, maybe we won't close the meeting. But I, I want to just, on behalf of all of us members of this ministry, want to truly thank you, thank you, thank you again, Daddy and Mommy. We want to really appreciate God on your behalf, and um, that for me. My relationship with Daddy was, has been on a professional level, rendering services and all of that. But today, we've gotten another platform of ministry, of speaking into younger people's life and being an encouragement to us. So Daddy, we want to say thank you, Mommy. We are grateful. Uh, I've been to Daddy several times, but this will be my first time of seeing you. And several times, like I told you, Daddy has always harassed me.
come and pick your sister in my house. I'm, I'm fed up. I've been spent, I've taken care of her for 40 years, so come and take your sister from my house. Well, now by the interview, we know that she is just joking. <laughs> So please put it in their schedule in, uh, on their calendar to release their words for us at that time. By the grace of God, sometimes in September, we, we hope to have the physical contact of the family prayer convocation. The details of that will be sent out <coughs> later. We are grateful. Thank you for spending time with us. For the, our guest today, Daddy and Mommy Faladi. We have what we have in offer. It has said, say where well I'm going, we have none. But such that we have the offer to you. That's the word of God we can offer. Yeah. That's one one, that's one that's is color black, one is color whatever. So I said, which one should we give it to God? Which one should we give it to I should give the two to them. And they will distribute as they like. So, <laughs> on behalf of the on behalf of Christ in us yes. and the Rebuilders Ministry and all our brethren present, we are grateful that you could make it today. 
The camera captured that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. We are grateful and we present this Bible to you. Nothing shall be impossible. Yes. I pray that you give every man 
and every married man and every married woman a wisdom Amen. to manage their homes. Amen. Amen. The Bible says a wise woman builds her home. Amen. And even our most and our, our, our husband must also thank God that the wife that the Lord has given them is a gift from the Lord. Amen. And when we get a precious gift, we treasure it. Amen. I pray that all men will treasure their wife. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father. I pray for the restoration of family order. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for the dedication to the study of your word. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because Jesus said that if we love him, we will keep his commandments. Yes. And but if your commandment is in your word, mm. I pray daily, just like Joshua said in Joshua 1 8, we will meditate day and night in your word. So that we may have good success Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pronounce success for everyone, married and Amen. from trial Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I command that all the forces of enemy working against your marriage be broken in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Father, thank you. Thank, thank you. Father, thank you. Thank, thank you. Lord. The Bible says that the Lord may be captivity captive. And release gifts on them. Every marriage that is in captivity, I pronounce that those that are holding you in captivity, they will be made captive themselves in the name of Amen. And the gift of the Lord will be released unto you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I thank you for this ministry. Thank you. It's such a great work you are doing. The Bible says that you are the sort of the atmosphere and you are the light of the world. A city set upon the hill mm -hmm. cannot be hidden. Yes. Father, up, I pray that you will lift up this ministry Amen. beyond their expectation. Amen. Father, your spirit will lift up this ministry. Amen. Father, as they knock, the door will be open. Amen. As they seek, they will find. Amen. As they ask questions, they will find answers. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you. The Bible says that they just shall live by faith. Yes. Father, we have seen how important the faith has held our marriage. Mm -hmm. Your faith will be strong. Amen. Amen. Because by faith, we shall overcome. Yes. Amen. By faith, this ministry will overcome. Amen. Amen. By faith, this ministry will go to even higher grounds. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. By faith. This ministry will be an overcome. Amen. Amen. All ramifications. So Amen. I pray for Sophie Father and the family. Father, for this tremendous work you've given and those who are supporting them, those who interviewed us, their homes, their children. Some of the children are still coming up. But we have testified tonight that the Lord, as many children you've given us, we have held them as heritage unto you. Yes. That we will help them in the name Amen. of God. Amen. They will succeed and their children. Amen. They will see children's children. Amen. God will break through for them. Amen. The money will not be a barrier. Amen. Love will not be a barrier. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank you. Shine your light upon the children. Amen. Let them shine. Let them shine. Amen. In the midst of their peers, let them shine. Amen. And thank you for the crew as well. Amen. They have done their job. Father, do them well. Amen. Amen. They have made this program beautiful. Lord, make them miserable. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for those who interviewed. Yeah, those I call. Lord, thank you for even the, the skill with which they have done this. I pray that you continue to sharpen them. Amen. Amen. Iron sharpens iron. Yes. Yes. Father, they will raise them to greater heights. Amen. 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 Today, as they, they, they interview, they will interview presidents. Amen. Amen. They will interview ministers. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for the program Amen. already thank you, announced. Thank you. And even for those who will listen, yes. we pray, Father, that you anoint the words that we have spoken. Amen. Amen. And your name will be glorified. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The grace, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the love of God, God and, the and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be and abide with us now forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Say